Sarawak student. Uh, we are study in Diploma in Process Engineering of Petrochemical. Today we are going to present for our final year project. Our project is about the utilization of plastic egg and eggshell on the properties of tiles. My name is Nur Ain Fitri Binti Ismail. So for content, we have introduction, research background, objective, problem statement, scope of work, and methodology. For result and discussion, we are going to discuss about the addition of PET, surface observation on PET, uh, addition of LDPE, surface observation on LDPE, and water of the observation on the LPE, LDPE. We are also going to present for our conclusion and recommendation. So for introduction, we have four element inside our project which is going to make two types of tile which is one is making using the PET plastic and one is using the LDPE plastic. So for the PET plastic, we are using the cement as the addition and the PET plastic as the main medium inside the tiles. While for the LDPE plastic, we are using the LDPE plastic itself as the addition and the material of the Material uh, LDPE itself as the material, and while the eggshell we put in both of the tiles as the addition of the component. It is an alternative way to replace the stem. As we can see today, the amount of, of waste, waste plastic nowadays are increasing by day. So uh, we can see, we can say that the plastic is giving a very high impact with animals and nutrients of soil. So today, most of the alternatives to handle the waste plastic are focused on the human behavior and attitude. So that is the reason why we aiming uh, the research for our research is to provide a new ways to reuse the plastic waste by adding it into the tank. My name is No Nani. I will present about objective. First, produce tiles from recycled plastic. Second, produce a less absorb water tiles. Problem statement. First, the pollution that are caused by plastic waste can affect the animal and human health. Second, the nutrient in the soil can be destroyed. Uh, I'm going to present about scope of work. Okay. Number one, for outdoor users only. Okay. Number two, use LDPE and cement for binder and PET type as the main medium and action addition compound. Okay. For methodology is, we start uh, choosing the right plastic and collect the eggshell and then Process of cleaning and crushing the eggshell and shred the LDPE plastic and then melting at the LDPE plastic. Uh, when, uh, when, uh, LDP, uh, when the plastic melts, we're going to mix with crushed eggshell and then molding and go to the quality test. If a not melting, uh, we're going to start from the first step. Okay, for the material is LDPE plastic, eggshell, and then the quality test equipment is landscape micrometer, microscope, and then digital scale professional. So, next, we are going to talk about the result and discussion. So next, I will going to discuss about the addition for the PET type of plastic. For the PET tiles, we are using the ordinary Portland cement. So inside this ordinary Portland cement, the main uh, chemical component that is important to make sure it is being a good uh, binder is the calcium oxide, or also known as the quick line or burn line. Uh, in the, but however, inside this ordinary Portland cement, it has a very low amount of this calcium oxide 
which is going to affect the stringness of uh, this uh, ordinary falling cement as the binder. So for the British standard, they, they specify the amount of the calcium oxide is within the range of 63% to 67%. Uh, from the previous study also, it shows that the uh, blended uh, cement, it contains a very high total of porosity and capillary uh, porosity. And inside this uh, cement also, it contains the air voids, uh, the capillary porosity and the gel pores. So, there are also the journal stated that the size of the porosity inside the addition is very large or high in the size. So, in, in conclusion, I would say that the ordinary pollen cement is not a good addition in making the tiles. I'm going to discuss about surface observation on PET. Okay, first, cement is a good bonding with no suitable to combine with PET plastic. Okay, for example, cement is a good bonding with sand. Okay, second, the surface of the tile is not too smooth because it can be seen through a microscope that a fine porous. Next, PET can be a reason for the increasing of the porosity on the surface which can be seen under the microscope. Next, from the observation, the PET plastic is slipped out from the cement surface. Okay, this one may be the way our bottle cut is wrong and we can cause the cause the death to happen. And then, the factor also may be responsible to the modulus electricity of the PET plastic. For the last one is, from the previous study, is the state PET aggregate considered as a lower electricity than the neutral aggregate. That's all for me. Next, I'm going to discuss about surface observation on LDPE. LDPE plastic is acceptable to be combined with eggshell and can be used as a tie. Using a fine and non porous tie surface microscope, using high temperature to make LDPE, it will take 2 hours to complete make. From observation, LDPE plastic do not have flexibility properties. Product has manufactured at very cheap price and have good workability in cutting and finish. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurul Hazrita Binti Sulaiman. I am going to present about addition for making the tiles. First of all, there are two types of addition that we use for making a recycled plastic tiles which are cement and LD, LDPE type of plastics. Cement is a binder, a substance used for construction that sets, hardens and adheres to other materials to bind them together. Cement also is a water absorption. We use the cement mix with water and actual waste to make floor tiles as a binder for our first experiment. This is called hydraulic this is called hydraulic cement because we use water and extra waste to make tiles. Besides that, in our observation in making tiles, the PET plastic types which is bottle plastic that we used before this to combine with cement and extra waste after we melt, the water plastic is cut mixed with cement. It is because the plastic doesn't bond to the cement mixed with the actual waste, rather weakens the material. Hence, we rather to bind actual waste with cement and water. Next, for LDPE type of plastics addition, it is 
easy to process and mold the tiles. It is because of the low density plastics which makes it light and flexible to handle. LDPE plastic also water resistant, so it can prevent the ingress of air and water into the tiles. The melting point for LDPE plastics are from 105 to 115 degrees Celsius. The, we use Bunsen burner as a source of melting the LDPE plastic as well. This plastic also relatively increases impact strength in cold conditions. This LDPE plastic can react if in contact with eggshell was physically. I think that's all for me. Thank you. You might be wondering what is what water absorption has to do with tiles. Now that is what I will deliver in my presentation for our final year project. In this video, I will explain to you about water absorption for our tiles made from LDPE. As you know, LDPE is low density polyethylene. Water absorption test is a measurement of how much moisture of a specific type of tiles is likely to absorb. We are also supposed to calculate the density of our tiles, but we are unable to do so because of our many failed attempt to ensure our tiles have an even surface, which is consuming a lot of our time. Now, this is only for your knowledge. A non-vitreous is a tile with water absorption of more than 0.7%. For semi vitreous is a tile with water absorption of more than 3.0%, but no more than 7.0%. For vitreous, more than 0.45%, but not more than 3.0%. While for impervious, 0.5% or, le or less. This is usually where porcelain tile is generally categorized. So as you can see, this is our result for our water absorption we managed to immerse our tiles for 12 hours so for, 12, for 3 hours and hours and 12 hours the percentage of water absorption by our tiles gradually increase this is because the longer we immerse the higher the absorption because of the porosity in our tiles so, um, for recommendation the tiles that make of PET, uh, which is polyethylene plastic mixed with cement, is not suitable in terms of adhesion and the type of plastic itself. The, quali the quality of this type of tiles is low. Besides that, the tiles that make of low density polyethylene LDPE is much more strength than the PET type of plastic since it has less porosity in structure and has low water absorption. Thank you. All in all, LDPE is a great addition in making tiles comparing to the ordinary cement, Portland. Also, the porosity is low in LDPE and absorb less water. All in all, we decided that LDPE is the type of tiles that can be made rather than PET type of tiles. That's all for now. For me, thank you.